Hello everyone, my name is Sophia Kazmides and this video will be about opsonization. Opsonization is characterized as a process in which pathogens such as viruses, fungi, or bacteria are tagged for destruction by phagocytosis. The most important tags or molecules responsible for opsonization are C3B due to complement activation as covered in previous videos and antibodies, which are molecules that are produced by B cells that recognize different antigens. Opsonization is an important process for the neutralization of pathogens and the promotion of phagocytosis. C3B deposition on the surface of pathogens occurs when the C3 convertase of the alternative pathway C3B, BB, or the C3 convertase of the classical and lectin pathway C4B, C2A, cleaves C3 in order to generate C3A, which is an important chemoattractant, and C3B. If C3B is close enough to the surface of pathogens, it will covalently bind to its th surface through its thioester bond. The thioester bond is shown here as a black line that links C3B to the surface of pathogens. This is what we call C3B deposition. The C3 convertases play a fundamental role in opsonization as they cleave hundreds of C3 molecules leading to increased C3B deposition on the surface of pathogens. The opsonization process may neutralize pathogens to infect host cells. Here, a virus called Epstein-Barr virus, or EBV, has the capacity to infect cells by binding to CR2 complement receptor 2, also known as CD21, which is found on B cells. EBV will cause a disease named mononucleosis. Here, the opsonization of viruses with C3B molecules on the surface of EBV will interfere with the ability of the viruses to infect B cells. Opsonization is also important in phagocytosis. When C3B is deposited on the surface of pathogens, it can be recognized by receptors found on macrophages such as CR1 or complement receptor 1. The pathogen will be phagocytosed. Inside macrophages, the lysosome will fuse with the phagosome in order to form a phagolysosome that ultimately kills the pathogen. Thank you. Thank you.